Greetings from UNF Career Services. We're here to spend a few minutes and talk about the importance of cover letters. So why create a cover letter? Well, the great thing about a cover letter is that it tends to add more substance than your resume has on it. Your resume is factual. It is what you've done. It's where you've gone to school. It's where you've worked. Your cover letter can, can explain a little bit about you and your personality and why you think you're a good fit for the job. You can certainly target your cover letter to the job. In fact, we highly recommend it not to use the same cover letter for every job that you apply for. So spend some time and read that job description, uh, look at the company information online, and find ways that your cover letter can make you a perfect fit for that particular job. Your cover letter can also discuss items on your resume, so if there are things that you want an employer to see, you can highlight that by creating buzzwords, by talking about common experiences that you have that the job pertains to, and accomplishments that will help you be successful in that particular company. A few important factors to note for your cover letter, reuse words and phrases that are commonly found on the company's website or in the job description. So if they talk a lot about creativity, be sure to put that word in your cover letter. Know what the company does. Take some time and research the company. Don't just spout out facts about them, such as when they were founded, but know what they are uh, what their mottos are, know what they stand for, know what's important to them, and show why you would be a good team member with them. The cover letter is an opportunity to let them know that you want future contact. So in that last paragraph that we'll talk about here in a minute, uh, let them know that you want to sit down and talk with them further, that you'd love to schedule an interview or for them to schedule an interview with you. Give your cover letter to somebody just to proofread. Mistakes and typos do not belong on any sort of application when you're applying for a job. Even though they're very easy to make, the employer may make inferences about you as a potential candidate there and the mistakes you may make on the job. So here's a template of a cover letter. And two things I want to point out would be the business format. So it is flush left, which we call block format. Make sure that you have your information at the top here, along with the employer's information. Do everything that you can to address this to a particular individual. If the job description does not say who this should go to, call. Ask the secretary who is the hiring manager for this position. It's much more impressive for an employer to get a document with their name on it. Here would be a generalized template. So again, the same business format, but what I want to point out here are the uh, sections within the middle. So the first paragraph uh, explains why you're applying for the position and how you heard about it. The second paragraph, why you're interested, which should reflect company knowledge. The third, why you're a good fit. So referencing information on your resume as well as personality traits that would work well within that company. And then the fourth paragraph is a follow-up. Um, you're not threatening them, you're not giving them a deadline, but you're certainly letting them know that you want to sit down and talk with them further. Handwritten signature can take it or leave it depending on how you're submitting this. So if you're bringing it in with you to an interview, yes, handwrite your signature. If you're uploading it online, you can either find a signature font or leave that out altogether. Make sure you write enclosure resume if you're sending a document with multiple pages on it so that they know that the, the resume or whatever um, other documents they're requesting are also included in this um, portfolio. A couple final notes, you want to show that you're competent, but try not to do it by over-exaggerating yourself using too many adjectives. Um, you can show your confidence by talking about your skill set and experiences that you have, but be careful not to say things like, I have excellent, wonderful, outstanding communication skills. Always send a cover letter finally. Uh, whether the employer asks for it or not, we've found through talking with employers that they give preference to those students and those candidates who have included extra documents and taken the time to write personal statements. Um, whether you're uploading it along with your resume or you're sending an email to a particular contact that you have, then you would include the cover letter as the body of your email. Um, so write up that cover letter minus the business information at the top. Write your cover letter as the body of your email and then put see attached resume at the bottom. We have more information for you on our website if you want a full resource guide on how to write a cover letter. Have a good day.